until now, I've just been using a regular cell phone camera to record my videos 1080p 60 frames per second. Today, I went out to the store and I got a bunch of equipment for my first vlogger setup. So let's shoot straight into it and why I did this. I managed to keep it all pretty much under 800, 850 USD. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into it. I think the first and foremost important thing right over here is the Canon EOS M50. Now I chose this camera specifically for plenty of reasons. It may not shoot the best video, but it comes pretty close and it includes some 4K too. So there are pros and cons, this is not gonna be a full review. Uh, I'm just gonna get straight to it and explain to you why I chose this setup. So first and foremost, this is one of the latest cameras from Canon. And I'll tell you why it really caught my eye. Other than it's magic good looks, which looks incredible by the way, especially this white and gray model that I have over here. We have a viewfinder, okay? Many mirrorless cameras do not have a viewfinder. Uh, especially the likes of Sony, uh, Panasonic with their Lumix. They don't have viewfinders, the, the budget cuts, I mean, the, the upper dogs for sure. And then another thing, their selfie flip screen always flips either at the top or like the Olympus Mark II, we have it flipping down to the bottom, right? But if you have a tripod there, if you have a mic over here, doesn't really work out, right? So another thing is that many cameras don't support external mic. So with this, you just pop that out. This is the horseshoe over here. Plug in your external mic and you don't have it in the way of your, your screen flipping out because the screen flips out the side from that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it flips out to the side. You can flip it back over there. Uh, for being protective, we can hit it back over there like that, okay? So that checks out. Obviously you can throw it on a tripod. The screen doesn't get in the way of the mic or the tripod and it records in 4K. Yes, okay. So if you want to step up from the competition of your vlogger friends, uh, you can step up to 4K, but bear in mind this is only 24 frames per second. And after tons of research, this 4K is cropped. Um, so you may not get the angles that you want either and the autofocus isn't there at 4k so bear that in mind i mainly picked this up for 1080p 60 frames per second because it looks incredible i've done tons of research on this camera so yeah i mean i'm pretty amped for it we have a, a standard 15 to 45 mm lens over here which it comes with uh, take that out for you guys to have a look at so in the box is not too much we just have the lens we have a strap we have the battery and the charger a nice big lens over there we have it over there yeah looks great i think it looks exceptional okay so i'm not going to get into too much detail with the whole setup and build it all for you and keep you guys too long uh but yeah we just have the charger we have the strap which is a nice little touch everything is great i'm happy with that let's throw that to the side and get to the next big thing okay so for your setup the next most important thing is for sure a memory card now, the best memory card that this guy can take, the quickest one, is a UHS one. So, this is what I have over here. This is the SanDisk Extreme Pro memory card. Now, you can get this in 32 gig, 64, 128 gig, or 256 if you're willing to splurge out like that. Um, I'm only doing 1080p recording, so I shouldn't need too much. This should last me a couple hours in my camera and what and once my videos are done i'm gonna throw it onto my pc anyway so that i can edit it and bring it to you guys uh so yeah 32 gigs is more than enough for me it is super fast this is probably the best card that you can get on the market for this camera specifically bear in mind the camera doesn't take micro sd this is just a, a regular sd card so keep that in mind when you do decide to go for it uh so yeah other than that i think the main 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 reason i got this camera is that i could plug a mic on top and I can use an external mic because I do not like the sound of mic recording coming from a cell phone, let alone an actual camera with decent stereo mic included in it, in built. So I've got the uh, the Tackstar SGC598 over here. And it is not the most expensive, but it is there with the top dogs. And the main reason it's not that expensive is because it needs external power. And that external power just comes in a little in life battery right over here. So they include one for you, which is okay. Uh, and let's pop this guy right out here, show you. There we go. So this is the beauty that you're gonna get. Now, if you get the G7, the Canon G7, which is the vlogger's camera, the go-to vlogger's camera, you cannot get an external mic on that camera. 
camera. So bear that in mind when you do decide to buy a camera. So you just plop this guy right on top here, you have a beautiful external camera, and you can pop the screen right to the side and you can see yourself beautifully without it getting in the way of anything. Okay, so mic aside, which we will get to when we actually get this whole setup going, you guys can actually hear me, um, you'll hear the quality of that. Moving on, bag is a nice little touch. Uh, I got this relatively cheap. So yeah, this is cool. I mean, it, it is super big, but I can throw all this gear in here and I'll be happy, especially this little tripod over here. So throwing this little tripod, I, I bought this. I mean, this was really cheap, but if you're outdoors and you just want to wrap it along a tree branch, and these are super cheap. This is like $15, I don't even think, maybe $10. Yeah, you, you could wrap this around anything. And it's really stable, eh? I, I've seen some reviews on these guys, and it does it quite a good job. You plonk your camera on there, wrap around anything, get some serious stabilization going outside. Now, for indoors, I stuck to a normal extendable tripod, which I have over here. Uh, now, this is a GP. Well, it comes with a bag, I did not know that. It's super exciting. So, I just take this guy around with me. Uh, so, this is just a three legged tripod. There is no hand grip on it, so hence the little guy over there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is sturdy quality, I saw it in store. These go for maybe 15, 20 dollars at most. I mean, if you get a cheap one, if you get a branded one for sure, the price is gonna hike right up, probably go to around 100 USD. Uh, but yeah, this, this is pretty sturdy. I'll try to shoot a link down for you guys on all this equipment later. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really happy with this. It, it has a little, Handle over here for adjustment. My wife's gonna love this because she reports me. So yeah, this is gonna please her a lot. It's gonna make her life a hell of a lot easier. So yeah, this is my setup guys. And I'm not gonna put it all together for you, but what I will do is I'm gonna stop this video right now. I'm gonna go set up all this equipment, come back to you in one second, and we're gonna have everything set up looking at me. You're going from a camera lens on a cell phone, which you're seeing me at right now, to this setup. So let's see what it looks like right now this is me using the m50 with my shotgun mic my wonderful tripod and all my handy setup gear i will be getting some lighting in tomorrow as well uh so be sure to watch my upcoming videos to see what the lighting looks like but for now i think i look pretty bright i think it's pretty decent um but yeah i mean if you're looking for prices on this setup just have a look in the description below i'm not going to speak about all the prices now but as i said this is this whole setup is around eight hundred dollars around that mark over there um so yeah i mean if you're interested in this setup you're more than welcome to take a look at some of my new videos that will be coming out all my shots will be done on this camera for upcoming cell phone reviews with tips and tricks and what have you uh so yeah until next time guys this is technic